The mountain bike POV super hack. The question is, can you power your gimbal and your GoPro all day long without changing a single battery? The answer is yes, and I'm gonna show you how to do it now. So where was this super hack born? <laughs> First of all, I gotta apologize. I am violating all things holy when it comes to YouTube videography. You're not looking at my face, looking at your face. This is what you need to be looking at. This is where the hack is. This is where the problem is, and this is where the hack came from. So, I was watching a Brian Kennedy or BKXC video on the differences between the Evo SS and the Feiyu Tech. Obviously, I bought a, an Evo SS gimbal. At one point in the video, he kind of uh, digressed into talking about what a pain in the rear it is to ride along and keep swapping batteries in the gimbal and the GoPro. So about every two hours, you have to stop, dig in your pack, swap in some fresh batteries. About once an hour, you have to stop and you actually have to dismount the GoPro, pull a battery, dig in your pack, get a fresh battery, remount it, get everything lined back up, turn the, turn the stinking thing back on, and hit record and go. Tremendously interruptive to your ride flow. I don't know about you guys, but I like to ride and not have to worry about things. To be able to just hit record and stop whenever something comes up that I want to record. So that's that's what I had in mind. As a matter of fact, uh, Brian in his video uh, kind of threw a, uh, a challenge out to the engineers at uh, Evo or Feiyu Tech to come up with a way to power everything with a, a large external battery power bank. So it got me thinking, all right, so you can, you can plug the, uh, there's a, a little accessory cable you can plug into the bottom of one of the gimbal arms to power the GoPro with the batteries in the, the gimbal. <laughs> you end up robbing Peter to pay Paul. So you end up with a, a shorter runtime on your gimbal and a lo slightly longer runtime on the GoPro. Not a good solution still. So then, I decided to start reverse engineering this mess. We've got two 18 350 batteries, 3.7 volts a piece. They are in series generating 7.4 volts. So we have to figure out how to get 7.4 volts into the Evo. Well, I realized that I have a 7.4 volt, 4600 milliamp hour lithium ion fuel cell for one of my LED bike lights. How do I get that into? <laughs> Certainly not going to go anywhere here. How am I going to get that into the to the Evo? This, my friends, is the mountain bike POV super hack. Dummy batteries. But but, dude, it looks so. Kluji, it looks like a hack. Well, no shit, it is a hack. So, what you do is you take wooden dowels that are approximate the, the diameter of the, the 18350 batteries, and here's a clue for you. 18350 batteries, 18 are, 18350 batteries are 18 millimeters across and 35 millimeters in length. So we are approximating the diameter and the length of that battery with a wooden dowel. This end is bridged, so we are going to supply positive power to this side and negative power to this side. This is, I'm sorry, negative. That's right. Let me confuse you a little more. All right, positive on this side, negative on that side. So the uh, the dowels are just a 
teeny bit large, but it, it works just fine. So we're pulling power from this through a five and a half millimeter power coupler. Look at that, power's up. Proof of concept, good. But guess what? I need this for my, my bike lights. So I did a bunch of digging and found an equitable replacement for this battery pack in the way of this waterproof case for 18650 batteries. These 18650 batteries, these are good LG 3000 milliamp hour batteries. What you end up with is a 7.4 volt 6000 milliamp hour battery pack that is waterproof it has a handy fuel gauge it has a USB charging port and the five and a half millimeter connector magic the mountain bike POV super hack. Not necessarily all mountain bike. I went for a, let's turn the camera a little bit so I can talk to you guys. Hey, there's that beautiful face you wanted to see the whole time you were looking at the gimbal, right? So how did I test this rig? Well, yesterday I took the Orbea Terra, Terra La Cabra, out for a test spin, 54 miles of gravel and road recon ride. When I left the house, I powered up the gimbal. And I powered up the camera. I rode 54 miles in elapsed time of over four and a half hours. That includes break times, the whole works. I didn't power it down one time. See something cool you want to record? You hit record. Section's done. You hit stop. Done. I don't suggest that you go out hit record when you leave the house or you leave the trailhead and just record the whole time. Can you imagine how ridiculous that would be? Sorting through all that footage. So I had to cut a small relief notch in the back of their battery compartment door for the cable. And I imagine you're probably wondering how you charge this stuff. Just so happens that my Surface battery came with a wall wart that will charge this setup. Probably a better and safer option, links in the description, is this Nightcore battery charger. Universal does lithium ion and NICADs and all the other batteries. It'll do 18650s and 18350s and double A's. Um, if you're not familiar, if you don't feel comfortable with electronics, um, please don't fry your Evo. I didn't show some of the details, like double checking to make sure that you have the correct polarity. Use a multimeter. Ask questions in the comments before you fry something. Just double check. Double check your polarity. That's the only thing that can really get you into trouble is making sure that you're pulling positive to the positive terminal, negative to the negative terminal, and off you go. Smash that subscribe button, and I'll see you out there.